So inside of this scenario, we're going to take a look at two tables here. They're linked together by two columns, priority name and customer here, and then um, right here, related ID and company name here. But what we want to do is notice here that we have data within this table, excuse me, this list, priority name and customer, as we're filling out, and there's a direct relationship here, right? So for example, church is personal, cell house is Germany, things of that nature. What we want to do inside of this form is to be able to change this and have it automatically change the company name for us so that we don't have to go through and change all of this data. So let's go ahead and take a look, see how that works. It's actually not as difficult as you would think if you have the list created correctly and you have um, a little working knowledge of the lookup feature. So stay tuned, we're gonna jump right to it. Okay, so what do we do with the code? Well, this is pretty simple. First of all, you need to understand what is the name of this data point right here. This is a drop down, okay? right so we need to know what that data point name is and in this case we're just going to click on it go over here and we're going to see right there data card value 91 that's the name of it now you could rename it if it makes more sense but that's the name we're going to go with at this point and then here we're just going to click on this bad boy and we're going to go ahead and put in this value right here so what we're saying here is when this occurs when this data changes, they click on a drop down and they change the data. Again, we're going to do that real quick here. Let's just go to Watertronics and notice how it turns to LMWS. So once they click on that, we want this company name just to follow suit with um, what's going on. And so we're going to use lookup. This right here, priority manager, is the name of this list. Now, important to note that this list has two columns in it. Remember, it's only going to pick up the first item that's inside of priority name. So we're calling the column right here. So this is the list. This is the column name that's equal to this value. If my list here had multiple related IDs, well, excuse me, multiple priority names that were the same, then this would not work uh, because with a lookup command, it's gonna only find the first value that it comes across, okay? Which is, which is fine um, because we want it to find the first value right here in the customer area that equals this value. So this is unique, so it's gonna always pick the right one here. Notice we have multiple personals here to show you an example of that. If I go in here and change this to church, for example, notice it turns it to personal. If I change it to personal, notice it still keeps it at personal. Why? Because this column here is unique. This column here has shared values, okay? So just remember, lookup command goes to the first one, the first one in the row. So just remember that. Okay, let's go back to there. And um, let's go ahead and click on there again. Remember, I'm clicking not just on the form, but on the field itself. And then we're gonna type this in. So priority name, this is the name of your column equals this right here, this data card value, right? So we're, whatever they select here, and we have to use the dot selected dot result, okay? And then use a dot and customer is where we're going to pull the data. So here we're looking at this data, everything to the left here of my, everything highlighted here is a lookup. We're looking up things right here, right? These names. This customer right here, this column is the customer information, which is this column right here. So once we find it and there's a match, it automatically changes. It's magical, I know, but um, this really isn't that tough to do. So good luck with it. Use the lookup command and you'll be able to modify this very easily and help your users uh, when information is being fed into it. So good luck.